Hello friends, welcome again to Searching the Scriptures. Today we would like to take you to the book of Matthew, Matthew 7 verse 13 and 14, where Jesus encouraged us to understand that regardless of the many uh, religious beliefs and the many religious practices, there is only one way that leads men to the kingdom of God. In verse 13, Jesus said, enter through the narrow way. Uh, obviously, in that particular text, Jesus may have been referring to the walls of Jerusalem in which there were the, the, the people had built the public doors and the private doors. The public doors were the, were the entrance used by the general public and the private doors were the entrance that was used by a chosen few. They used those for private purposes. But Jesus saw that as a prime example to emphasize the, uh, the, the element of the kingdom of God. So he here, Jesus used the narrow way to show that God's way, God's way is narrow. Narrow compared to the broad way that encourages, that attracts all men. Now, Jesus is speaking from a religious standpoint. Jesus is addressing the religious people, those who had uh, different ideologies and those who had different practices, those who had held to the concept that they were uh, they had a right to the kingdom of God on the basis of their uh, their 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 family relationship many thought that because they were descendants of Abraham automatically they had a right into the kingdom of God but Jesus is here emphasizing that the kingdom of God the way to the kingdom of God is small. It is narrow. That needs to say it is difficult. Difficult in what sense? Difficult because there are restrictions. There are laws or rather regulations. There are principles that one must uh, address in his life. So he encourages his disciples to uh, make every effort to enter in through the narrow way. And that was a direct statement statement to the people that it is not through the Broadway. No one will be accepted on the Broadway, through the Broadway, but only through the narrow way. The narrow way is the way of truth. It is the way of principle. It is the way of morality. It is the way of doing what God says. In the following verses in Matthew 7 verse 21, Jesus said, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Now it will take an effort to do what God says, as opposed to those who continue on the Broadway. You see, the Broadway did not really require any effort. The Broadway, you can come as you are. You can do whatever you want. You can go wherever you want and live whatever life you want to live. But in the kingdom of God, in the way of God. God's way is a way that tells you you cannot live however you want. You've got to live in accordance with the word of God. Now some may think well you know because of that they may think, well, Christianity is a narrow-minded religion. But no, friends, it's not narrow. It is just a way that is precise. It is a way that in attempts to avoid the confusion that is often seen in the religious world, the world that is not guided according to biblical truth. So we encourage you today. We encourage you to acknowledge that God's way is a narrow way. It is a private way. It is a way that requires a, an effort on your part. That's why Paul said in 2 Timothy, 
chapter 2 and verse 15. Study to show thyself, approve unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Now it is important to know that the word study in that verse simply means make a haste. It means to make effort, give all diligence. Whatever you are doing, give diligence to it. Give diligence in the study of the word of God. Give diligence to listen to it. Give diligence to put it into practice. Give diligence to attend to it so that you can be a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. That's what it will take, friends, to go through that narrow way. There are difficulties. There are uh, temptations. There are trials. There are all kinds of things that we would encounter as we go through that way. But I want you to know that God has promised to be with you. Jesus said, I will never leave you, nor would I forsake you. The Bible tells us I can do all things for Christ who strengthens me. So when we think about the difficulties that lie in wait for us as we go through the narrow way, remind yourself that God will not leave you. God will be with you. God will be there to strengthen you. He will be there to guide you. He will be there to lead you to success as you decide upon to come to him through the narrow way. If you have never, if you have never given your life to God, I want you to know that each one of us have the responsibility of making a choice. You stand today, friend, between the narrow way and the broad way. You need to make a choice as to which way you will go, which way you will follow, which way you will come to Christ. I plead with you today to receive Jesus Christ in your life. He is that narrow way. He is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. I encourage you to take a stand for Christ and come to Jesus before it is too late. Accept Jesus by believing in Him. Accept Him by repenting of your sins and confessing His holy name and being baptized into Christ before it is too late. God bless you today, friends. Until next week, as we bring forth another message on searching the Scriptures. God be with you. God bless.